Maui. Okay, this is good. Kilo, one of Kilo's adopted schools. No problem. I'm just not sure. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Kiloha. Kiloha, I'm going to unmute. Um, Lacey, what, what can you this? unmute your class? I muted them for a second, but you have to physically go to your computer and unmute what? them, and then Kiloha can hear what? them. How do you make this? Wait, wait, wait. Where's It's maxed out. That's why maybe it might be better to use this. What's up? <laughs> Where's she at? Um, so wait, I'm going to ask Lacey. Oh. If they can unmute themselves, muted them. Yeah, okay. Shima's class. Oh, she's controlled. Hi. 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 H
uh, we're doing a little bit more than that. We're doing some science projects um, with the fish. So if and when we catch a fish, we'll uh, take the location that we caught the fish. Oh. And then uh, before we eat it, we'll open up the stomach, see what the fish is eating. Uh, we'll take the measurement of the fish, the weight of the fish, and then we're going to clip some of the dorsal fin and put it in a solution and we're looking for DNA oh. uh, from different fishes around the world. So yeah, we got a science, whole science project going on, plus um, we get to eat the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Who else has a question? Okay. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Um, what happens if someone gets sick or someone gets hurt on the um, boat? Good question. Uh, so if someone get hit, gets sick, or someone gets hurt, uh, we do have a medical officer on board, um, and they will try and treat them. Uh, a lot of the early stuff, when we first start off for our voyage, uh, a lot of people get seasick and stuff like that the first couple of days, maybe. Um, and then we deal with stuff like dehydration, because people are not drinking enough water, being exposed to the sun. Um, rashes uh, um, come up and one of the biggest ones is um, homesickness they miss oh. their families oh yeah how do you do that yeah. <laughs> well, so for that one we just do the big hugs because we're creating a whole new family out here yeah yeah, yeah. that's right that's true that's good that's awesome question I must Okay. Uh, I asked them if they had. Uh... Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I can hear you guys. You guys can ask a question. Okay, what do you do on the? What's your job? What's your job on the Yeah. Okay. Um, my job on board is, um, I'm a watch captain. So that means, um, I'm responsible for or other people on our watch. So when we're sailing, we have a crew of 16, and they're divided into three groups. So we've got three groups of five, plus our captain and our captain slash navigator, so he doesn't stand the watch. But when you're on watch, you're on watch for four hours, and then you're off for eight. And then when you're on watch, you're responsible for steering the canoe, making adjustments to the sails, um, and doing whatever it takes to keep the canoe sailing properly. And then when you're off watch, uh, it's important to get your rest. Um, that's when we do our journals and um, arts and crafts I'm on board. We play music. Um, so I'm a watch captain, so I'm responsible for, like I said, four people. I'm also the cook on board. Yeah. So I get to, I, I was able to help plan the meals and then, yeah. I'm responsible for keeping the crew happy with the meals. <laughs> and then a few other small jobs. <laughs> Next question. Sienna. Oh, any other questions, girls? Cece, got a question? No. Huh? No. Okay. Um. About how long does it take? Everyone think of a question. Okay, cool. Can I say a question? Okay, go. Just go. How long does it take to, to, to sail one place to another? I don't think he's So, on average, uh, about a month. About, about a month. month. Give or take uh, a week on either side. And when I say that, um, we might be delayed because of weather or the crew not being ready, or when we get on, you know, it might take longer uh, to actually sail because of, uh, again, weather and ocean currents and stuff like that. So, but on average, about a month. Thank you. Go, go, Kiana. Um, so... What animals do you see? Like what fishes and birds do you see? Oh, awesome. You guys are asking some wonderful questions. 
Uh, what animals do we see? Um, dolphins, whales, sharks, yes. turtles. turtles. Uh, we have a few monkeys on board. A few turkeys. Human monkeys. And definitely some donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Guess which one I am. to the sun so much, um, we, wear, we wear a lot of um, sun protecting clothes like UV uh, ray stuff, but so like capoline, light shirts and stuff like that, shorts, surfer shorts. Uh, me personally, I just wear my malo. Yeah, he wears his malo. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to model it for you guys. <laughs> so, how long does it, question, how long does it take for you guys to um, plan a trip? Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Like, plan a trip oh, for... Great oh. question. Okay, so, for this worldwide voyage, um, it's been over six years. Oh, wow. Um, you know, again, and we even got delayed a few times, too. And the reason for that, there's, you know, it's not just about sailing. Uh, first of all, we need to have a purpose uh, for doing a sail. So like this one, going around the world. Uh, why are we so interested in going around the world? What is the message that we're sharing? And, you know, we're talking about sustainability, we're talking about education, and global warming. So there's a lot of things that we're talking about. So they all need to have a purpose and, you know, be complementary to the message that we want to share. Um, and then we need to talk about logistics. Um, you know, what ports are we going to go visit? Is it safe to travel in different areas of the world? Um, can we reprovision the canoes with food? Um, and do we have places to bring the canoes out of the water if we get damaged and stuff like that? So there's a lot of things that need to uh, be thought out before uh, the voyage begins. Yeah, so in essence, the voyage has started at least six years ago with the planning and everything. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say thank you. Thank you, Uncle. Okay, Sienna. You're welcome. <laughs> what kind of things do you eat? How much more time we got, Mickey? Um, you. What are kind you of things do we protocol. eat? Um, so <laughs> most of our meal, so we. We cook on a two burner propane stove. It's just like pantry. What are you doing? Okay, so um yeah, we we cook on a two burner propane stove like if we're camping. Um so we eat spaghetti, um salmon, we have salmon patties, tofu heka, some stir fries, um pancakes. Ooh. Did I say Simon? Yeah. yeah. So we make fried rice for breakfast, oatmeal, cereal. And then, of course, um, we have a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables that are given to us. Let me start. Awesome. Awesome. What we got? A couple more questions. Oh, a couple more questions? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay, this is an odd question. Let's say, um, um, like, your, um, something that you're wearing, like clothes, gets too small, or you have to cut your hair because it's too long, something like that, what happens? Do you call it all panicky and everything? Yeah. Um, uh, I know, like, uh, for me, on my first trip, uh, my my shorts was ripping, and uh, I had to sew it a couple of times, and the other crew members who helped me sew my shorts, they were sewing, like, um, different animals on 
with a stitch. So okay. they made that one uh, Koloa, they made one dark, and they made one like an elephant. And they were, when they were patching my shorts, they were making all of these different kind of, uh, animals. Um, we did have people cut their hair out here. Um, you know, hygiene is always important and stuff like that. But yeah, I might need a haircut soon too. Okay, nice and loud. Huh? When you guys go by pirates? Pirates? Pirates. Um, yeah. Did you say pirates? Yes. Yeah. So I mean, you know, that's one of the concerns. That's one of the concerns as we choose our routes to go around the world. Um. You know, there are pirates that exist, and, you know, it's a lifestyle that, um, you know, is unfortunate, but, um, you know, being, not knowing under, knowing or understanding the situation that they're in, uh, you know, they might be desperate and stuff like that. But for us, um, we need to try and avoid them uh, for the safety of the crew and the vessel, and then also... Um, for me, I think, um, you know, they need to know that somebody cares about them too, and, you know, I think we have the opportunity to uh, share what aloha means, um, and for all of us here in Hawaii, you know, aloha isn't something that we should be taking lightly. Uh, the word aloha has a lot of meanings, and it's, um, it's a very true word in a sense, um, that it represents um, everything that's important, yeah? Uh, ohana, um, working together as a family, um, you know, caring for each other, respecting each other. So, you know, through that word aloha, uh, there's many lessons that can come out. So, yeah, with these pirates, uh, they just need to be uh, shown some aloha too, I think. That's a great answer. Ke aloha. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys. I think, um, ke aloha, I think you have to, I'm getting a call saying that you have to go to protocol soon. So I think it be a good time for you guys to say um, one last question and goodbye. Okay. Yeah, we just, we're just going to say goodbye. Do you okay. have a question? Uh, huh? Okay, go. Hurry. How long did, how many, have you gone on any trips before? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and if yeah, you I did, thank you. I did a couple of trips before. Go ahead. Um, I've sailed to Rapa Nui, Marquesas, Tahiti. Um, I sailed from Aotearoa to Tahiti, Northwest Hawaiian Islands, Palmyra. Yeah, a few of them. <laughs> and they were all fun. Yeah. Okay, grab this day, mahalo. Mahalo! Okay, Aloha, we're going to see you at 9.30. Mickey, what time is my next one? 9.30. 9.30, okay, shoot. Aloha. And let's cut you, yeah? Yes. Okay, ahoyo. Okay, ahoyo. Aloha. 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 Awesome. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks, Mickey.